What's up everybody? It's your girl back for another video. So I hope everybody's doing well. Thought I would check in with you all. I'm out here in the yard enjoying this beautiful summer day. Um, just getting a little bit of peace and quiet before I have to cook dinner and uh, Miss little Miss Sophia, our little princess, wakes up from her nap. Now, one thing I've been thinking about lately is we are living in some crazy, crazy times, right? And all I find myself doing lately is reminiscing about how great things used to be years ago when I was growing up. Like, even though I grew up poor, you know, me and my siblings grew up poor, it, it never occurred to us that we were poor. We had a great childhood. You know, there were some ups and downs just like everybody else, but overall, you know, we had a great childhood. And uh, I don't know, people were just better back then, I find. Before all this advanced technology was introduced, people actually had, you know, relationships. Everybody wasn't glued to their phone all day and their social media all day. And the music was better, the, the whole culture was better. I mean, even though the, the government the corruption was still going on and no doubt this country had its problems, but it's just escalated and it's gotten so bad. The government is so big and powerful and they're in every aspect of our lives now. And I remember back then teenagers had jobs and they had a, a drive to want to be on their own and to do things for themselves and, uh, and be independent. You know, and it wasn't uncommon for 18-year-olds to be able to get their own apartments and have a car and a job. And you didn't need much money, you know, back then. Groceries were not an arm and a leg, and you weren't taxed to death, and you could afford to live on your own. <laughs> now, you're lucky to live on your own as an adult. You know, they got 40-year-olds having to live with their parents now. Things have changed dramatically. Um, it was much easier to own property back then. But anyway... I just find things are so much better and I find myself missing those days and just kind of sad that, you know, my kids won't grow up and experience that time period. I think I was like the last generation of that wonderful time period. Um, but, but anyway, um, YouTube. When I started making my YouTube channel, you know, even though I hate social media, I really do. There are some things about advanced technology that I do enjoy, and when YouTube was in its infancy, I remember, um, you know, people just liked the fact that you can go to a place and see what other people, regular people, just like you and I's opinion about things are. It was YouTube, right? Nowadays, YouTube has taken the you out of YouTube. You know, now they're trying to force us to watch what the Hollywood celebrity thinks about stuff or mainstream media and they're shadow boxing channels like mine and um, bigger conservative channels. They control what you see, what you don't see. They control the narrative and they've, you know, they've taken a political side and they silence those that don't agree with the, um, the left wing, uh, policies and opinions and that's wrong you know we always hear in america we have freedom of speech but that's horseshit we really don't the only time you have freedom of speech is when you agree with the left's policies and their narrative and you go along with it and uh you know all these companies that run these platforms they've taken the side of the left and they use it against us and a lot of people will say well how come people right-wing people or you know, independent people don't make their own platforms. Well, they, they've tried. It's just the left bashes those platforms and calls anyone that uses them racist, sexist, homophobic bigots and attacks it every chance they get that people are afraid to go to platforms like that. People don't want to be labeled those things, you know, because the average person isn't any one of those things. They're just regular people just trying to make it and just trying to live life. Um, well... I wish I would have made my channel a long time ago when YouTube first came out because that's when things were great. Um, you know, nowadays, 
They are shadow banning channels. Um, they delete your subscribers. They they manipulate the view count on your videos and make them less. You know, I guess I came in at the tail, not the tail end, but the beginning of this stuff. Because when I first made my channel, even though I've had my channel for a long time, when I first actually uploaded videos to my channel, which was in 2017, my channel started growing very fast. And before they shadow boxed me, I was getting a lot more views, like, a lot of views and my subscribers was growing extremely fast and now um, they've demonetized all my videos they've deleted some of my videos um, they delete some of my subscribers people have contacted me and said they've been unsubscribed from my channel when they did not unsubscribe and then I started to notice it too I went and looked up my subscribers I've been over a hundred thousand subscribers for several months now um, since the end of last year and um, now I think I, the highest I've gotten up to was almost 140 and now I'm almost below 100,000 subscribers it's it's just crazy and they sent me the silver play button and congratulated me but yet you know they're manipulating my channel and it's, it's just wrong just because they don't agree with my opinions and uh, the more subscribers I get the more subscribers they delete so in one month, if I get 10,000 subscribers, um, almost 10,000 will unsubscribe. And when I upload a video, I'll get like two, 300 um, thumbs up right away, but yet I'll only have 100 views. You, in order to have two, 300 thumbs up, you have to have at least two to 300 views. So they manipulate the views. They, they, it's just crazy that they could get away with this stuff. And sure enough, I went and checked my the people unsubscribe to and they've unsubscribed me from channels that I did not unsubscribe from and um, the other day I was trying to find a video about dirty Uncle Joe about Joe Biden being a pedophile Paul Joseph Watson did an extensive video showing um, proof of all the times that this man has been inappropriate with children and I tried to find the video to send it to a couple of my family members and I couldn't find the video. The video is unsearchable. You, you cannot find it. You can search it to a T and all you'll pull up is mainstream media. You'll pull up MSNBC, CNN, Fox News, and all this shit. And again, people don't come to YouTube to see that. They want to see regular people in their houses and see their opinions about things. They don't want to, they don't go to YouTube to watch mainstream media, to watch what some dumbass celebrity thinks. That's not why they go to YouTube. But anyway, that's all it kept pulling up. I had to go to his channel and search through his videos to find it. So the video's been shadow boxed. But uh, anyway, they've done this to so many channels on YouTube. They've um, even deleted channels. Some of my favorite YouTubers have been deleted and they've had to go to BitChute, um, which I did make an account on BitChute. I just haven't started uploading videos there yet and I really need to. I need to get off of YouTube. I need to stop letting them profit off of my content um but it, it's just wrong what they're doing you know um, in america we should all have the right to say whatever we want and we should so many uh you know men fought and died so much bloodshed to give us the rights that we have that we shit on today that we take for granted today you know americans have it pretty good pretty spoiled even the poorest americans have a flat screen TV, an iPhone, and $150 shoes on their feet, you know, and their basic needs are met. Americans have it pretty good. As much as they want to cry and pull the victim card about every little thing, they have it pretty good. You know, if you go live under communism and socialism in other countries and you're starving to death and you're being killed for your opinions and hunted down and um, controlled with food, Americans don't know nothing about that. Even though these you know, young millennials want that shit over here. They think they want that shit over here. They just, you know, spoiled and confused. But anyway, um, I just, it just sucks what YouTube is doing to me and so many other people. Um, so they don't allow our opinions to get out there. It's not reaching as many people. They're really controlling the narrative. And they're doing this on Twitter. They're doing it on Facebook. They do it everywhere. And... It's kind of scary because it reminds me of 
the modern day book burning, okay? Do y'all remember Nazi Germany in the 30s when all those uh, Nazi students were burning books, history books, any, any books that went against the, uh, the Nazis' narrative, they burned it. And even if it was documented history, they got rid of it and they burned it. I feel like that's what America's doing now. It's, it's kind of the same thing. You know, I heard somebody reference the digital book burning, and it's so true. This is the modern-day book burning that we're living in. They are bringing that same stuff over here. Um, they want socialism and communism here in America. You know, deleting history, changing history, taking people's names out of history, uh, taking down these statues and different things like that. All that is, is it's the modern-day book burning. Controlling um, whose opinion gets out and whose doesn't, not allowing anyone conservative to have an opinion, shutting down their channels, manipulating their channels, um, blocking them on Facebook and Twitter. It's... That's all it is. It's just a modern day book burning. They're doing the same exact thing over here. And these dumbass millennials, these dumbass liberal millennials are begging for that shit to come over here in this country. Um, real quick before I let y'all go, because I've chatted enough. Uh, we are currently still kind of in lockdown here in New Orleans. The COVID-19 cases are spiking again, so they say, and they are threatening to lock the city down again. They are saying it's because people are not abiding by the rules and are take advantage, taking advantage of the, uh, the little bit of freedoms they've given us. They're blaming it on regular people, not the protesters. All these protesters that came in from out of town, it was mostly white college kids dressed in all black, Antifa. They came down, they were blocking the interstates. They were uh, causing a lot of shit down here a week ago. And COVID-19 is not spreading because of them. There's, it's spreading because of regular people like me having barbecues, having small birthday parties for their kids, and not wearing a mask in public. And the mayor has set up a COVID-19 tax force, a task force, excuse me, um, where people are paid to go out and rat on people for not wearing masks, not washing their hands, not socially distancing, and not following you know, their rules. And uh, anyway, I've been taking the time with my children since they're home, there's no summer camp, they're out of school, you know, to um, educate them on things in history. We've been watching a lot of World War One and Two documentaries. Um, we watched an entire series on Magellan TV on uh, the most evil dictators in history. And each episode is about a dictator in our history. Some examples are Mussolini in Italy, um, Kim Jong-un, North Korea, uh, Papa Doc in Africa, uh, Hitler, Nazi Germany, Stalin, Soviet Russia. I wish they would have added like Nikolai Ceausescu from Romania or uh, Idi Amin from Uganda. But anyway, every episode is about a country where socialism and communism destroyed it. They also did Mao Zedong and Mao's China. And my daughter watched each episode and was like, why would anybody want socialism and communism here? After she watched it, she didn't form that opinion by what I've told her. She was able to see for herself. In every episode, the people ended up starving to death. The government silenced people, silenced their opinions, deleted history, changed history. Um, would arrest and execute anyone that had opinions against the state or spoke badly about the state. And uh, they, they took their weapons and silenced them and controlled them with food and the people were starving. And this stuff is still going on in other countries. You know, look at Venezuela. You know, socialism and communism, they, they actually want that crap here. They're trying to bring it here slowly but surely. And my daughter was like, I, I can't believe anybody in their right mind would think those policies would work here. It would destroy America. But I've been trying to, since they're home, take the time to educate them on things that they're not gonna learn in school. School's not gonna teach them those things. But, uh, but yeah, I recommend doing that with your children. Take the time that you have, you know, with all this lockdown stuff going on and, you know, teach them things. You, you know, your parents are your first teachers. These schools are just indoctrinating our children. So just take the time while you have it to teach them about things like that. 
And uh, I've been blabbing long enough, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. And I'll see y'all back on my next video. Bye.